everyone. I would like to share a comment that I recently received from one of my subscribers. Um, it was a very interesting comment and question and I answered him and I would like to share that with you guys as well. So basically he said that he loves the paranormal but how does he get over the skepticism? because he needs to see and hear something to 100% believe in it, basically. Uh, which is fair enough. A lot of people are that way inclined. If they don't physically have the experience themselves or see something for themselves, they're never going to believe it. Um, and, uh, you know, a lot of people are the complete opposite. They don't need proof. To believe in something. Anyway, I, I replied to this subscriber and I'd like to share it with you guys. So here we go. So I put, um, wow, <laughs> now that's the million dollar question and one which I will attempt to try and answer. How do you persuade a skeptic to believe? Well, let's just look at that very question itself. The word persuade, to cause someone to do something or believe something through reasoning or argument. How can someone do that? Reasoning and arguing by using words or by using proof, right? But who on this earth would be momentous, credible, knowledgeable enough to do that. Ugh, a scientist? A member of Mensa? Or going on the religious side? A priest? The Pope? What do all these people have in common? They're people. Just people. Capable of lies and hate. But just as we are capable of lies and hate, we are also capable of truth and love. Opposites. Black and white, yin and yang, good and evil. How can you blah, blah, blah? How can you not blah, blah, blah? Why? Why not? Just as we are surrounded by opposites, for example, skeptic, believer, we're also surrounded by questions. What is the meaning of life being the biggest? Uh, for example, if someone told you that there was an amazing movie that was free to watch, but there was no ending, would you watch it? And if you did, how would you feel at the end, walking away with, with no final answers, never knowing the point? That movie is entitled Life. Answers are, are final, complete, finished, done, the end. So it's my belief that when life is final, finished, done, the end, you'll have the answers. But until then, just enjoy the movie. So I, I, I sent this subscriber my comment. Whether or not he listens to it or takes it on board is, is entirely up to him, but I wanted to share it with you guys as well. I made an extra footnote as well, just in simpler terms. So I put, to put it in more simpler terms, some people are just wired differently. They don't need proof to believe that something is real. Take love, for example. No one can physically see love, but I'd like to think that most of us believe in it. Another great example is religion. I mean, I could actually go on and on and on. But I said to this subscriber, you are who you are. 
Being a skeptic doesn't make you wrong, but it doesn't make you right either. It all comes down to what makes you feel good or bad. If being a skeptic is causing you conflict because Despite your inner voice telling you to question the paranormal, your inner voice is also telling you that you're interested in it. So should this be a burden for you? And if so, is it worth it? Ask yourself that question. And that's my conclusion. But, you know, it goes on and on. Nobody has the answers. Nobody has a definitive yes or no for the paranormal, for the afterlife. No one. Thank you for your time. Bye.